morning. Hi, how are you? It's another day. Oh, dear, oh dear. It's a bit chilly too. I had a coat on up until a couple of seconds ago when I took it off and put my apron on. I think I should have left it on. Oh, dear, oh dear. Call me a sook. I don't care. I'm... I've got broad shoulders, I can handle it. How is everyone? I hope you are feeling well and things are going well in your life. Oh, let me see who's in the chat room. Uh, did he... My Andy, first in. G'day, how are you? Ray, good morning, Prunella. Good morning, Your Highness. I trust you slept well and all the horsemen and guards in your palace looked after you as they should do. If not, let me know. I'll come over there when it's warmer and I'll sort them out for you. That's it. Devon, good. <coughs> good morning. <coughs> oh, I've got a proverbial frog in my throat, I think. Uh, dear Reginald, good morning. G'day, Daniel. Lovely to have you in again. John, g'day. Yvonne, if you're watching, hi. Oh, dear. Trevor, <laughs> g'day, mate. Oh dear, hey, how is it up the sunny coast? A bit on the chilly side? Good morning, one and all. Here in this morning, it is very cold. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. And then I shot my breakfast down. I would like to report, I would like to report that um, the medication I put Bob on, he uh, he's responding quite well to it. I've got another vet's appointment later on today which I've got to go to so if I cut the stream short that's where I'm going but we'll see how we go um um, um, um yeah the, the the wound um is clearing up well and the big horrible pussy sack he had whoop, coming out the side of him seems to have calmed down and he just would he, he went off his head yesterday he was running up and down the fence I couldn't have run there once, and I reckon he must have done it 15, 20 times. Up and down the fence, up and down the fence, giving the dog next door grief. But when he finished, he was knocked up, and he slept very well, a little bit. Uh, so um, I, I had a great conversation with my pet vet, who is in the chat room. She's not there yet, though. And she gave me, um, yeah, uh, a lot of hope. So we, we're just hoping this other... <clears throat> I'm Tony's not on yet, but I'm self-centering. The other vet I went to um, is wrong. So there you go. Uh, where are we up to? Oh, it's it's a bit cool, is it, Max? Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Joe. I bet you it's cold down where you are, Stephen. Good morning, mate. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> G'day Louise, how are ya? Oh dear. Actually I had a, a lovely visit yesterday. Louise and Andrew came over um, and she witnessed Bob going up and down the fence. I mean I'm worried about him, he doesn't care less. And Louise bought me some of the most magnificent, gnarled, nasty, decrepit, old Fence post you've ever seen. So as soon as I get my new D new ADSL cable, which should come this week, we'll go up the wood turning shed and I'm going to turn a bowl and big, solid lumps of cedar. They are extraordinary. So thank you for that, me girl. I enjoyed that. I just don't want to visualise you using the lathe, so it's okay. She knows what I mean. And Andrew, if you're watching in the other room, g'day, mate. Lovely to have a coffee with you too. Uh, so far alive, munch and pasta. Oh, what a good pastime, uh, <laughs> Prunella. Well, I had pasta last night. I didn't make it. Um, spag bowl we ended up with. Sue said, oh, oh my God. <laughs> she'll come down later. <laughs> oh, she said, I'm out of bread. Can you get some bread? So I said, yeah, right. I'm like, Shut off. Drop the top on the MX-5. Took off around the corner. It was frosty. And got the bread, came back, and Susie was in the kitchen. And when she came back in, I said, oh, I've got the bread. She said, oh, I didn't know you'd gone. So we asked me to get bread. Oh, she said, oh, I'll just cook spaghetti bolognese. So there you go. Run the risk of getting frostbite. 
What what a guy. What a guy. Actually puts his life on the line for a loaf of bread, comes back and his wife's cooked something else. But anyway, it was good. Oh, dear. I, <laughs> I don't know. I should. I'll hold me rants back. I love him. <laughs> Brenda, good morning. Oh, lovely to have you in the workshop again. Davey, good day, mate. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? <laughs> I don't care what they look like, what they taste like, Penelis. What they? Oh, what an absolute doofus! I've got. Look at that. I mean, let's get the day off to a good start. I've got my water bucket. Oh no, that's all right. I've got my water bucket under my bench and I thought that was normal sandpaper in there, but it's not, it's wet and dry. That's normal sandpaper and it fell in there, which is a bit of a thing, huh? So anyway, yes, first off, I've got a, um, a fly screen to replace. So I'll do that and then we'll get back onto these glazing bars and I'm going to draw a pattern of that... Um, the gum leaves and have a crack at that first. Now you know who you are, so I won't mention your name, Louise. But you said, but you said you don't do trial runs, you just get straight into it. There is an exception to every rule, and this is the exception. Because once you start carving into a half-finished project, I'm sorry, but if you mess it, the whole project's gone. So I would like to clarify that. If you're gonna make something, don't you don't use a cheap and ordinary wood because you're frightened to muffin it up. Use a good timber because you might get it right. But if you're going to do some carving, get the aesthetics of that right before you do it in the, in the real job. Uh, hey, I did. I had another thought this morning. I do. I have thoughts. It's good. With this um, gizmoid, I'm putting in... Where are we? That one? Yeah, there you go. No, we'll go that one. With this gizmoid I'm putting in the middle of the, the glazing bars, like that, I thought I'm going to use them as a handle as well. Hey, how that is that? So I'll have that there and then one there. I don't know, we'll see how that works out. Just, just crossed my mind this morning, I thought I'd give it a go. Jeff, good morning. So covering up your feet in cotton wool wrap in duct tape doesn't count as being called. No, mate, they're ugly boots, not ugg boots. Ugly boots. Oh, crikey, it is. That's a butt jolly. G'day, Randall. How are you, mate? Uh, I nearly popped in the other day. I forget what for. I needed something. But I've forgotten. But nice to have you on board. Uh, are you working or are you, are you um, slumming at work? Oh, sorry. Are you slumming at work or are you got a day off? Hey, Alfredo, how are you, mate? Uh, gee whiz, you lot chat. Um, buddy, ba, ba, dum. So, g'day, Jeff. G'day, Terry. G'day, Dean. Ha, oh, t shirt weather. Yeah, good on you, John. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're a suck. I just walked into town for a coffee in shorts, a short sleeve shirt. Did you make it home though, mate? Did you have to walk up that big hill to get there? Be all right if you lived on top and you could walk down. I tell you what, mate, I've never seen a town with so many butcher shops as you've got there. And I like that. Is it delicatessen or something? I think it's a fruit shop. And down the other end, it's got a great little deli. Uh, they're dead batteries, so we'll kill them on. Oh, there you go. Well, all right. We'll talk to you, Yvonne. I don't care. Uh, wombat, you know, mate. Uh, <laughs> I thought it might be trip. Let's go there. Oh, dear. G'day. Oh, okay. So I'm struggling with this one. Some, some, some Ptolemy? Is that it? 
13, good day. How are you? Welcome to the workshop. I hope you enjoy it. They're a good bunch. <clears throat> sonnet, there you go. Okay, okay sonnet, I can, I can do that one. <clears throat> good day, Mini Man. How are you? Yeah, I, look, Bob might even grace him with his presence today. I don't know. He, he uh, did he? No, he didn't get up for his biscuit this morning. But he did get up when he heard the kids having breakfast. So there you go. Hi, Ian. How are you? Ba-da-bum, ba-da-bum. <laughs> Terry, what's cold like in Australia? Oh, mate, if it gets below 15 degrees, it's cold. <laughs> That's it. End of story. We're sooks down here. But then again, then again, if it gets over 40 degrees, you're allowed to take your jumper off. Just to give you an idea. But perhaps I haven't shot the sheep yet, Ray. You never know. I had some beautiful, fair dinkum uglies when I was a surfer. Remember the ones with the, the embroidery up the, up the back? But now they, they don't seem to use the same sheepskin I've, I've found. But I like ugly boots, they're good. <coughs> uh. <coughs> oh. That's what I was talking about, Ray. You, you put it so succinctly and eloquently. Jared, good morning. Hey, what is Tom come? Oh, the mobster's in. The mobster came down. You're a good chap. Have a look at that. It is clearing up very, very... Where come I'm all caught up here? There you go. It's starting to clear up and that... Big horrible sack of poison on his back seems to have got better. Oh, now he's all shy because, come here, come here. You, you get your bag of bones back in here, dog. I just want to, come here, come on, come here, Bob. Bob, come here. Camera shy, little sook. Come on, he's a, he's a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay, well, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's getting good, isn't it? Hey? And I can actually touch around there. I couldn't do that the other day. You know, a couple of others coming up, but we'll have a look at those. Go on then. You go lie down, do what you want to do. Oh, no, he's going back up the house. No, no food down here. Oh. I should do full... What was it? Was that you, Prunella, that said caution? No, what was it? Ranting with Steve, caution some woodwork of, <laughs> involved. <laughs> oh, this Susie segment. She'll be back down again today. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps I should do different segments. <laughs> I, did, I did say to Sue, I, I've got a lot of work I've got to do. Louise will attest to that. Um... So I don't know, we might, next week I might have to cut them down. We'll just see. And I said that to Sue this morning. She looked at me and said, yeah, if you say so. <laughs> she doesn't believe me either. Mm. Yeah, it is, Daniel. Thanks for that. Now the best, can I mark you snuck in unannounced? The best ones I liked, which, oh, crikey. About 12 years ago they came out and they were Tim Tam Chili. It was dark chocolate with chili. And you bit into it and you got that bitter, sweet taste of the, the dark chocolate. And then when you swallowed it, the chili hit the back of your throat. Oh, they were great. They were great. Some of them, well, they did pina colada ones and... Mint chip and yeah, don't like those. Mm. I, I don't know what she's bringing down, Max, but she's starting to take over. She, she, 
So I think I'd love to get it back streaming again. We'll see. We'll see. All right. First of all, put this all. Oh, we got that base to put on that one there too, and we got this to do and that to do. And let's first of all do this because my poor old grandson has been whinging, moaning, complaining. No, he hasn't. Um, about he doesn't like his windows open, and you just get that awful boy smell. Uh, <laughs> So he said, get the fly screens. I'll give the flies get in. Mosquitoes get in. I said, all right, I'll fix it. I told the boys to go down to the shed, grab the screwdriver and take the screen off, which they did. And I said, listen, no one's saying it's your screen. I reckon you should come and fix it. He said, no. I said, no, come on, your screen down the workshop. But grandmother saved him. He's got school today. And he goes, yeah, I'm logged in. I said, yeah. So he got out of it. He got out of it. All right. I haven't done one of these for a long time either. Um, but what I did find, I bought, I've got a few, few to do actually. I've got some sliding doors as well. Oh, but apparently, apparently this hole here was caused by a moth. So I was told. Um... But, but, the, the, it just sort of get a little bit closer to the truth. When I said to Noah he had to do it, he said, Anthony should do it because he's the one that ripped it. Oh, so what happened to the moth? Okay. Got to find, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we might do two cams on this just in case someone is interested on how to fix a screen. They're pretty cool nowadays. When I um, uh, when I went and bought the new screen, they actually <sighs> give me you. Oh, close. Here we go. They actually give you the tool to put the screen in with. Before you had to have a separate tool, which is in a Another toolbox of mine, and as happens always, whenever you want something, you can never find it, so therefore the screens don't get fixed because you can't find the tool. And you're not going to spend $4.99 on another tool that you know you've already got somewhere. So consequently, screens don't get fixed. But, oh, with... Um, these packs you get from the big box warehouse. They actually, I don't know, let me see. Oh, they actually give you the uh, thing with it. So you get a new lot of rope, or whatever it's called, and a tool to do it with. No, I don't know, that other one fitted, so I might use this again, if, if, if it works. These are the jobs that take, they take longer to get around to do than actually doing them. Just line it up so you've got a nice overhang either side. Oh, we go, all cams here, look at this. Hey, where? We got everything happening here. Action cam. Oh! So you just start it off. And you push it in, just like that. I most likely can't do this as good as a glazier would do it, but it doesn't matter. The thing is, it's going to be done and fixed. Actually, I'm stretching that out too much. So I might just that in there like that, where the corner is, 
Mind you, I think they're a bit scabby with the, the wheels. The one I've got has got a much bigger opening and not quite as aggressive as this. There you go. Bring it down the side. Boom, 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 boom. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I mean, they give me this tool, but I don't like it. It's, it's a bit yuck. I would prefer the other one. Next ones I do, I'll use, I'll use the tool that I've had for years. Now, put a bit of tension on it. A pair of scissors. Oh, I should have got another. I think I've got a better pair over here. I did. I did see them somewhere. Here they are. Under the bandsaw, that's where you always keep your scissors. Just, just in case you want a pair of scissors at any time, remember, keep them under the bandsaw. Okay. Hopefully that, that could be enough for another window. No. But not all the windows are the same, so keep it, because you'll use it for something. I think this um, particular size was for the front door, which also needs to be done. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Bit of tension. Tension mounted and rode away. That's an oldie. Yeah, don't like this. <laughs> don't like this free tool at all.
<laughs> I can remember the old days you used to put them with a screwdriver and <laughs> you'd ruin more screens than you'd fix. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Make your eyes go a bit gaga because the seal has got a twist in it and then you've got the pattern of the mesh itself. Here we go. Around there. Ah. There we go. It's nice and tight. Last Lenten. Hello, missus. How are you going? How are you going? Oh, well, that's good. I, I just nearly did. Oh well, I just thought I'd do this, and then we can do we can do the front, the front door. And there's, there's one in the kitchen that needs doing, isn't it? Yeah. How are you going? Yeah, good. Good. How's the boys? Yeah, Getting the schoolwork done. Giggling. They, they got them in, in them. I, I, I don't know what's got in them, but at least they're in good mood. Yeah. That's the main thing. They're not at each other's. Oh, oh fudge. What? Walked out of the sewing room and they were both on the same side of the table and they were sawing me and walked up and looked around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. He quickly got on to, I'm doing schoolwork, I can't fix that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's all good. Yeah, but it, it'd be good if they learn how to do something useful. Because that might be granddad's one day. If they live that long. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no, we'll never be a dad. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay then. Mm. Oh, crikey, that's one. Did you make some hats this morning? Oh, I like them. Did you bring your other your, your new dog down? No, I didn't. Oh, nah, it's all right. I'm doing tomorrow. Last little bits, always the, the pain. Getting it all lined up. Yeah, and getting it straight. Mm. I, I much prefer doing woodwork, it's easier. I, I, I know. There we go. They're all busting for your segment. I, I think they only watch me because they know you're going to come down oh, and do a segment. Oh, good on you, yeah. See, I told you she's getting a big head. <laughs> oh, oh, no, in a minute. I'll get this done. One thing at a time. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh. Here we go. These tools, they give you a... Not... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the word I was thinking. There we go, look at that. Nice and, nice and tight. 
and we'll just no no these aren't yours are they they're my shed no they're in my shed so they're my scissors I don't know they're under the bandsaw did you put them there no, you probably flogged them from my room. So, it's just... What'd you do? You, no, what, no, I'll tell you what happens. You use my stuff and automatically think it's yours because you use it. <laughs> oh, if you could see that look I'm getting. <laughs> it's priceless. Oh. I reckon you talk to the chat when I'm asleep. Do you go on Discord? Does <laughs> 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 that start the warm up? Yeah, it's most likely nine degrees now. Well, I'm just starting to get a bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a flash, old girl. Oh, uh, okay. And here we go. That mostly cost you about 50 bucks to get someone to come out and do that. Cost you $9.99 at Bunnings. And cost you nothing to see my screen. And there you go. We have one brand new fitted screen that's nice and tight where are we there we go yeah, nice and tight no whiffs or wafts or wobbles in it and done and done ski all right well that's homework for the kids i can put that back on they put a hole in it they can, <laughs> they can do it again well that's good because he could work out how much it's going to cost him to go and buy a new one then Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll come down heavy on them. You're so tough. I am. Oh, God. Yeah, good, good. Here I am trying to create, create, a, create a reputation for myself. Yeah. And look at it. I bet you it's all... Is there any marshmallow slice left? No, it's all gone. All gone ski. All right. Now, where are we? Look at that. See? Oh, look at that. Will does look a bit flimsy. It's horrible, Prunella. I'm just looking at my hair. Have a look at that. I'm scared to cut it because I don't know if I've got anything underneath it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, are you wearing your spirit animal on the outside? Be, yeah. Tiger. Where are we up to? Oh. G'day, T-Bone. Oh, he snuck in. They, they do they. And Brian, Brian, Jay, that's it. Can you remember Joe the Gadget Man? Joe, uh, Brian, can you remember Joe the Gadget Man? Can. You didn't you know him? Or you had? I met him. He actually, I used to sail. Uh, when I was a little chillin', I used to sail with the. Ah, oh, what was it? Sailboat. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen foot. 18-foot flying squadron, I think it was, at Kareen Cove on Sydney Harbour. And, no, it wasn't Joe the Gadget Man. It was Mr Knock from Knock and Kirby. He used to live on one of the houses on the foreshore. As we, there you go. There's, who, I, was, I was sailing. Oh, I was in love with her. I, I've never told you about her, have I? Carol Finlay. Oh, she was lovely. I always used to argue with my sister when she skipped the boat, but when I was crewing for Carol. <gasps> Oh, don't argue. No, I didn't want to argue. She was just. <gasps> oh. Yeah, old yeah. Well, she was older than me. Then. See, I like the older women then. I would have been 14. She was 15. Not quite as bad as you and I. I mean, you've been nearly 70 and all. But. <laughs> oh, she's still feisty. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess I'm closer to 70 than you are. Close to 17. No, no, I'm close to 70. 17. 17. We're all 17 in the head. Now, Sue and I honestly would like to thank everyone for the brilliant emails and messages. Brought a tear to our eyes. So thank you um, for everyone out there, you know. Uh, 
It did, yeah, it meant it. What are you feeling? Itchy belly. I got some wood putty. Do you want me to feel that? Like that? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't got that much wood putty. Um, anyway. <laughs> You seen it first? Gen no, it's not genocide. What is it when Domestic your part violence? when your partner kills you on stream? <laughs> Just rewards. <laughs> Randall, I'm glad my wife is in the other room. Wait. Don't want to go to jail. Randall, my wife's in the other room working. She might see you doing this and get cranky for me for putting this off on ones I need to. Well, there you go, Randall. No excuse, mate. No excuse. Uh, yeah, spoon would work well, wouldn't it? I, I didn't think of that. Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, G'day, Paul, how are you? Hi, Sue. Ray says hi, Prunella says hi, John says hi, Travis says hi, Max says hi, Devin said hi, Andy oh, says hi. Yeah, I know, I know. I, 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 I'm going to flash my belly button next time. I'll, <laughs> I'll increase my ratings. Don't I'll, worry. It's <laughs> Yeah, and why am I getting fat? Could you keep on feeding me? Yeah, that's it. Oh dear, oh dear. Dobby says hi. Daniel says hi. <laughs> Betty ends up with a bit longer at one end. It always is when I do that black stuff. Hey, see, John, I didn't. Exactly the same. There's a trick to it. What you do is you got to put the ends in first. Push it in and then you can squeeze it and it won't stretch. Nah. Uh, uh, Alfredo says hi. Brenda says hi. You are a popular person, aren't you? Uh, oh, uh, T-Bone likes your shirt. Oh, thank you. I don't know why I read it. Oh, you haven't got your glasses on. No. Louise says good morning. Ian says hi. Tom says good day. Ah. Max, uh, right there was, it's Max. Oh, that's good, Dave. I hope you can use it. Beware of the fly. Use it. Smudge music. G'day. Welcome to the workshop. Or welcome to the chat room. Now throw that damn thing away. I hate tools that don't work. It's gone. <laughs> In the bin. <laughs> now. Never to be seen again. Easy peasy. No, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just. Uh, Max, this is a wait until he goes to the house for tea, then whack him with a broom. Whose side are you on, Maxwell? Uh, Tom reckons I've been tipping the jug. Ben says hi. No prompting from the chat room, Mac. Yeah, don't give it. Thank you. Who's Mac? Uh, uh, Trevor. On my side. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Okay. What you got, Jeff? Get, get back out of the bin, Steve. Sign it and stick it on eBay. <laughs> Sounds good. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, pity. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Like there you go. Look at that. Why am I? <laughs> I'm trying to straighten that bit out that you've got hold of. No, there you go. Isn't that nice? That's cute. Bring it around. We'll do. We'll do a, a close up. A close up on the bunny rabbit. Shh. Jason. Bunny rabbit. Jason bunny rabbits. And. That's that's the back. That's good for a little gill. Yes. Yes. Tracy. Little <laughs> <laughs> and you've been making little hats. I have been making little hats. Oh. Little heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon you slob on it. Just. 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 <laughs> Trevor was born with a beanie. Yeah, he likes wearing beanies. <coughs> I like the erupt here. Terry says, hi, Sue, Prunella. Um, uh, oh, Prunella, ah, bunny wabbit, John says. Uh, oh, 
Yeah, Vaughn said, oh, John just came back. So cute. Jeff, awesome work, Sue. Jo Sue, I like that from John. Alfredo, so nice one, but ah. Leather work, Andy. Very lovely. That's super cute, super cute. And they're not talking about your belly button either. They're talking oh, about please. the coil, okay? Cos. Um, <laughs> adorable bunny. Um, wabbit season, duck season. That's it. I like that. Hunting bunny wabbits. Shh. It's a waskly wabbit. That's it. Isn't it great? Where was I? I was <laughs> looking at um, flooring the other day. Mm. Oh, it's a bit of, no, it's a bit of wasp mud. Uh, and the, the lass I was dealing with, she was a honey. She was nice. She was all right. <laughs> no, she was nice. Sue <laughs> so walked out of the shop and she said, that's expensive. I said, yeah, but she was nice, wasn't she? <laughs> the, typical mild, uh, <laughs> don't care, there's my bank card. But um, I said, I thought she was... Yeah, early 30s, which she was, she's about 35 or something. And um, I said, do I have to put anything, this is that click flooring goes out. There's some rubbish click flooring out there, I'll tell you, absolute rubbish. We bought 50 packs of it. Yeah. And I think we still got 47 packs left. And it just rubbish. But this stuff's nice. I tried it in the shop and it clicks together quite nicely. This is for the bedroom when the bed gets built, which will get built when she finishes the bedspread. Okay. I'll have it done within the next few days. Uh. <laughs> um, and anyway, anyway, I said, doesn't need anything underneath it. And she said, what, well, like underlay? And I laughed. And I, and I looked at it and I said, oh, you'd be too young to remember that. And she goes, oh, underlay, underlay, arriba, arriba. Speedy Gonzalez. There you go. Oh, I said, oh, I'm impressed. I'll buy it from you because you can remember Speedy Gonzalez. Um, Ian says, very nicely. Paul, question. When do you, hang on, when you do cock beating, do you prefer to rebate or apply full onto the outer edge? Uh, honestly, Paul, I prefer to put it straight on. I don't like the rebate method. I think it's prone to too many uh, hiccups along the way. Um, the cock beating, I do, we're going to do some, aren't we? Um, I think we can do some today if you want. If you want me to do some cock beating, I'll do some cock beating. Um, if not, I'm going to go back on to my, my what do you call it? What was I doing? Glazing bars, that's it. But no, I prefer uh, nailing mine onto the front of the doors. It, I know, it just lends to be nice. And the other thing is, if you ever have to replace it, it's so much easier just to take that one strip of beading off rather than disassemble the whole drawer and take your top off and it, it's a question of fitting it if you got your drawer fitted perfectly you don't want to mess around with it so that's my personal yeah. preference anyway what thank you t-bone i don't know about a saint but i'm getting um i try hard not necessarily to be a saint but no it, it's got the right letters in there s-a-i-n-t you can get s-i-n-a out of that sinner you are you just you're just a bad girl. Lord loves you. <laughs> oh, I think I'll go back to my booties and hats. <laughs> All my little dogs. <laughs> yeah, I see. You know that little dog she bought the other day down? She made another one. But the one that she made, I've got sitting on my one of my uh, monitors when I'm editing. I just think it's the cutest thing. Now, people reckon my shed's untidy. Well, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, no, I'll just put this over there. All right, we'll fix that up later on. That's why it's untidy. Because you work in it. You thought I was talking about my shed. All right, I'm going to do everyone. some work. I've had enough of him. Oh, knee nearly went. Knee, back. Yeah, I'd tell you what, if you were a car, back. I'd go for a rebuild. Yeah, no, yeah, I wouldn't. I'd trade gin. Darling, the warranty's well and truly. It is, it is, yeah. No, I better keep the old clunker and fix it up. I'm trying to break a new one in. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> well, you mean my body or my mind? <laughs> <laughs> Point exactly. All right, Chucky. I'll catch you later. Um, yeah, tell the kids to keep an eye open for 
uh, delivery man because I'm expecting, expecting. Oh, me pods. I just ordered 150 pods for me coffee. So I'm there. I'm into it. Good morning, Earl. Evening, Earl. How are you? Bug Bunny's my hero. The kid got me personalised plates for the 70th birthday. But Oh, isn't that great, Trevor? That's awesome. Uh, yes, space. <laughs> can, you, can you remember pre-space invaders? You said they're playing ping pong. And you'd have a beer in this hand. And have these two knobs. Have this thing. And we just thought it was a great. It took 20 minutes to load it off the cassette into a Commodore 64, and you still played it. All right, um, it's, I started with this template, so I'm going to continue with that. What I was doing yesterday, for those, those that actually care, uh, <laughs> making personalised glazing bars for the cabinet that I'm doing, and I've just lost me. I've just lost. See, that uh, wife comes down here, spends five minutes, doesn't touch anything, and I lose stuff. What, whatever happened to that bit I was playing with before? Where did it go? Or did I put to the note? Did I put? Here you go. I pressed it the wrong button. I reckon she took it. She took it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Anyway, don't need it at the moment. But I can make another one. It's easy enough. Now, I'll quickly. That's annoying. I'll just, I'll just quickly. Oh, here it is. It's over here. Oh. So these are basically the glazing bars. as they're going to go together, but as you can tell, they're too wide and they overlap. So I've got to narrow them down. And what I've done, I've got the angle from my French curves and I've brought them down like that. So what I want to do is replicate this curve and then make a jig up or make it a little bit longer than I need. So I might bring it down to there. And then we can go to the monster and just route out whatever we need. And then we can play, which will be fine. Um, bit of plywood. <clears throat> I always do the first one. <coughs> in MDF because it's so easy to get the shape you want just using sandpaper or a spoke shape or something like that and then I'll put it onto a piece of plywood which I'll just rip up here Didn't quite have the blade high enough, but it'll be right. Okay, so hopefully that's the same size as that, which it are. So now 
I will place this. <laughs> the Julius Sumner Miller will place this here like so. And what I need is some double-sided tape, which that is not. Where's my double-sided tape gone? Hopefully my um, hot plate will arrive today. So then I can... Um, ba -ba 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 do some more veneering because <clears throat> I want to get some veneer on that stuff I've got. This is oh, there you go. That's the tape I want. It's on the bench, Horace. Boom, ba -dum, boom. Now we'll go over. Um, I might rough cut that. That is not too big. The router bit would take that. But if I can get it closer, it doesn't have to work as hard. So we'll do that. G'day, Wesley. Hello, and g'day, Mike. See, I've got, I'm keeping an eye on it. Pepe La Pew, yeah, he was cool too. I liked him. Oh, awesome, Alfredo. What, uh, what, did you carve it? Or is it made out of something other than wood? <laughs> I just read Barry's. Yeah, good on you. I'm not, I'm not passing that one on. <clears throat> uh, Oh, the little Martian was cool too. Yeah, he was good. He was good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got. Going no, foghorn leghorn. I used to love foghorn leghorn, especially when he'd beat the dog up. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I used to feel that. Pull him out by the tail and whack with a fence paling. All right, let's go. Let's go over here. I'll tell you what I will do. I'm just going to take that screen away. And I'll put it outside. So the boys can put that together again later. We, we might do a couple more of those. That way I, I can get all these jobs done around the house. Kill. All right. <clears throat> now. I don't... No, I don't want to change their setting because it's set up for the glazing bar bits in case I make a mistook. So what we'll do, we'll come over here to the Bob and Sandra and give it a bit of a run. I don't know why it's vibrating. I think I must have something that's not quite right there. Uh, 
Okay, that's close enough. Just clean that off. We'll go over to the the two dollar router table, and we'll trim this up. Um, oh, hang on. Am I missing? I am too. Where did I put that? Oh, dear. Uh, I took the wing nut off to put onto something else. And I forgot to put it back. That's another essential trip. Oh, you don't need essential trips now, can you? You can go to the shops. I'll have to go and get another one of those wing nuts. Actually, 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 actually I reckon that's pretty darn close to what I want. So there we go. Okay. So go against the direction of rotation. This is going counterclockwise, I've got to feed this in clockwise, or else you'll get a horrible kickback. <laughs> and there we have that there. Now I've got to switch it over and turn it the other side so we can get that exactly the same. Where's a masking tape? Masking. Oh, Susan! She flogged my masking tape. She did. I've got another one around here somewhere. That's not the point. Where's another one? Here we go. Boom, ba -dum, boom. La -da 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 okay. Take this off. Try not to wreck it in the process. You can sometimes use the tape again, but don't be lousy. Your fingers aren't worth it. Or your fingers are worth more than a piece of tape. Now that's got to go that way. And we'll put that there. Oh dear. Move that up to the tape we put on there. And if, if I wasn't streaming and didn't have a reputation with um, routers, I would actually just do that, put it straight on, and do it. But I know it's going to happen, so I won't. So here's another way if you don't have one of those sanders, just. I cannot believe I see this raft for doing cabrio legs. But it. It gets through it pretty quick. Might use a slightly refined one, which is much nicer. There we 
we go. And back over. Yonder. And we'll do this one. Don't need that MDF one anymore. <whistles> Just take the dags off. And there you have it. Now all we're going to do is trim the top bit down to the thickness of this tail and we have exactly what we wanted. So I'm just going to go cut that on the saw. Now, it doesn't matter what length I'm doing there. All I've got to do is line this up, cut these, and then you're going to have the same profile on each of these, and then you just cut them to length. So, easy peasy. Japanesey. Let's let's try one and we'll see what happens. That's all we can do is give it a go. Actually, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll um I'll make three more of these. And then I can use the bandsaw and I've got spares. So that's how it looks at the moment. But to give it a little bit of a profile, I just round over the ends on all four faces.
Cut that one off. This is the beauty of doing a large piece of stock for a small piece. You got options if you mess it up. Another one. That should do me, I think. Oh. I'll do two more. So I'm just. And last one. Not quite even there. Okay, I like cleaning it up after I've used it, so the next time I use it, it's going to be nice and clean. We'll just bang this one off, and then we're laughing. So there's four more. And what we'll do is go over to the bandsaw and cut this as close as we can. And that's going to be the first. First bar. Double sided tape off. This comes up to the end and we know that we're on the money. And of course we won't we won't really know if we got it right until we've done two. Okay. Hit it, Huey.
Okay. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> I, I gotta have a masochistic streak, I tell you. I would check this before. No, we'll do it live. See how close I got. Okay, well, therein lies the problem. Because they're still sticking out too far on the ends. Why is it so? Perhaps I have to take it up a bit further. Perhaps. I might have to just come down a bit. Okay. So maybe, maybe, baby. Oh, I love it when things don't work. So that's to there. Okay, well perhaps, perhaps, perhaps I have to bring it to there, to there. And that's, <whistles> all right. We'll try this then. So that then will go there. All right, got to cut it off there. That's interesting because, oh, oh I hope I've got a flat area still. There we go. That's all good. All right, well, what we can do is get another square. I think this is the first, first square I ever bought, this Toledo. And we'll cut that there. Okay, I'll just go over the bandsaw and we'll give that a try. And the reason I've gone to the bandsaw, just in case, why wouldn't you use the other one? Is because I'm going to use a miter box, which I can't do on the docking saw, and I don't have a straight edge to put up against the fence in the docking saw. So when it cuts, if I held it, against the fence like that, when it goes through the cut, it's gonna catch and kick in and knock this end out. Whereas if I'm using the bandsaw, I can use this box and I can put that straight edge up against the box and then this end doesn't have to be supported. So there you go. And if you wanna see what I mean, I'll show you. See that straight edge there, I can support. You can't see, can you? There you go. So the straight edge here, I can put against this box, which is set at 90 degrees to the saw, and I should be able to get a clean cut. So-and-so. 
There we go, okay. So we will give that another try. Luckily we got spares. That I can use for something else. Give me a new one. Okay. Now I'm running into <laughs> problems because it's too... I do have another roll of this tape around that's thinner. But, oh, Damo! I know you're not watching, but anyway, it reminds me. I'm going to come over for a coffee, mate. I'll see if you can find that other roll of this stuff for me. That would be awesome. Okay, so let's just... If I do that there... Okay, we'll give it a go. We will give it a try. Yeah. There's good things and bad things about stuff that sticks. It's good that it sticks, but it's not good it sticks straight away. Ah. <sighs> There we go. Here we go. It's mo mostly going to take more time doing this blinking glazing bar than it did to make the cabinet. Okay. But they're the fun things you do. Okie dokes. I'm going to try this. That doesn't look central to me. That's better. Okay. I'll just trim it on the bandsaw. So there we go. a bell. Okay, I'm game. Let's give it another try. There we go. All right. We have success. So the next one I'll do should come out here and should do that. So let's let's do another one. I I'm game if you are. What's happening? I've, I've been ignoring everyone again. I'm sorry. You don't care, do you? I, I did get asked yesterday, when I'm not streaming, do I ever find myself talking to myself as I'm working? And I do, but not the same. <laughs> Definitely not as politely as I, <laughs> I do on a stream and not constantly, so it's, it's okay. Just eyeball that. Ah. Oh. Bum, ba, dum, on the bandsaw again. <laughs> oh. 
over here again. taking a, a real small bit off when you trim a lot of the waste and I know the result I'm looking for if I get it I'm going to be happy there you go happy days happy happy days And what I've decided on, see how that meets nicely in the corner there. What I'm going to do is uh, do these brown, or the, uh, what do I use? Van Dyke crystals. Leave this blonde. That way, in between the door, it's going to look like this is floating because the inside of the cabinet is Van Dyke. The backing board's a Van Dyke. It's in a hallway, which, when the lights aren't on, is dark. So these glazing bars will sort of meld in to the interior of the cabinet, and it'll just have that white dot sitting there. So I don't, I, I, I don't know whether they're still using them as handles. It might be a bit fussy. Don't know. Well, we'll do a couple more anyway. Now I'll have a chat first. Oh, no, I won't. Yes, I will. No, I'll have a chat. Let's, let's see, how are we going for time? There, I'll have a, have a chin wag. <whistles> what are we up to? 11.30, so I'll go back 10 minutes. Oh, crikey. I, I'm, I'm with you, Jeff, at 11.32. I think most of us use Imperial and Metric. I like that. I do. You go and order two, I don't know if anyone else has done it, you go and order four, uh, 2.4 metres of uh, 3B2. You do that at a young bloke at Bunnings again, huh? Dearie dear. Uh, okay. Captain Kangaroo, words I like to live by. Never grow up now. Yeah, what did I say yesterday? Growing. Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is optional. And, and the other thing, Prunella, you don't ever say your age is 41. You say, I've been around the sun 41 times. There you go. Yeah, what have I got? I've got a 47-year-old, 40, a 38-year-old, and a 30-something-year-old. 30, 36-year-old, I think, Louis is. And then, of course, I've got a 16-year-old with Anthony and a 14-year-old with Noah. And Bob's 71. There you go. I, I tell you, he's talking cheeses. I love hard parmesan. Oh, I could eat that. Just crunk them. But then again, I like blue vein, and I like brie, and I like emmental. And yeah, not a huge fan of. What's that? Is it Kobe? Something like that. It's a soft cheese. I don't like that. <laughs> I like that one. Wombat? Yeah, way too immature to feel old. I, I like the one when people say, oh, why don't you act your age? 
well, why? I've never been this age before. How am I meant to act? Or the other, no, nah, I'm not going to have a rant, not going to have a rant, but it really amuses me. You go, you go see someone in the medical profession that's half your age and they tell you how you should live. Get a few wrinkles up and then tell me. Or as she said the other day, if you lived the life I lived, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Um. Oh, so we got Tiny Terror, Grand Monster, and oh, okay. Well, what about when I bring the big hand ones out? They're worse than the table one. Doesn't matter, John, if you don't know what they're for. They look intimidating when they're hanging up on the wall. Hey, Roscoe, how are you, mate? Welcome. <laughs> oh, you're a wordsmith, Roscoe. I love that. I'm trying to stay, stay awake long enough so I can go to sleep. I got to tell you, I had a good sleep last night. Oh, yes. I had to put up with Bob. <laughs> but oh, it was so nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Jeff, I remember, I remember that one next time I'm talking to Lee Nelson. You got any low angle planes? How high is your bench? Yeah, hey, Brunel, how many times, how, or, or, or Roscoe, and I, I'm guilty of it, I generally watch television until I start to get the nods. And I, every night I watch reruns of Stargate Atlantis. I know them backwards and inside out, but they're safe. There's no big cliffhangers. There's no surprises. They don't give you bad dreams. And you're familiar with the characters. <laughs> But I'll sit there watching it and the eyelids start to go and you're watching it just through your eyelashes and you're thinking, oh, I think I'm going to say, oh, no, this is a good part. I'll just watch this. And then, bing, you're wide awake again. Oh, no. How long did you have that brewing for, Prunella? That wasn't long. I, I do remember Sue and I went through a stage we were brewing. Um, oh, was it vodka and orange? And you meant to let it sit. We, we'd mix it in the morning and drink it in the afternoon. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -dum. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, cliffhangers. If you if you know they're going to come out, it's all right. I I just love the wraith. I reckon they're so cool. The makeup on them are just awesome. Oh no, that was interesting. The first time I didn't like it, but after about the fourth or fifth time, it grows on you, right? Four days. Is that long enough? In room, t yeah, in room temperature, you just told me it was minus eight or something or other. 
Okay, we're going to do another one of these. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sighted now. I want to I get this underway. I'm all G'd up. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll get um, the last of the spindles done for that blender bench. Well, I'll say, I'll say today or tomorrow, I'd like to get them done today. They've been on the lathe four times in the last couple of days. And then, <laughs> then I get visitors, which I think is an absolutely marvellous excuse not to do them. But when they're done, it's going to be finished and it's going to be good. And I'm actually thinking, should I buy two coffee machines? So I've got one in the workshop and one in the house. And I tell you what, since I bought that coffee machine, I have not missed going up for a coffee. I thought I would, but it's so nice. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to drive anywhere. All I've got to do is just go up to the house, whack a capsule in. And my favourite ones so far are the purples. I like the Nespresso's, the purple one. And I quite like it in a, um, uh, what do they call the things? Cafe latte, I think it is. Very swish. Okay, there we go. Whoop. Okay, we got three there. Go for, we'll, we might as well go the whole hog. We'll go for the, we'll do the killer blow. Where'd they put that? Yeah. See how much easier it is though once you've got a, a template. It might take a bit of fluffing about to get one, but then it's so much easier. to knock them out and if you do make a mistake or you mess it up how easy is it just to um, quickly whack another one out oh Oh, hang on, why is it, why is it just dust, dust, dust. Let me get down here. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll see, Ben, what's on a coffee machine? I'll see if I can find the picture. Hang on. 
Uh, Oh, you mongrels. That was cheaper than I paid for mine. That's it. I, I've got to go and... I'll, I'll go and see them about that. That's just not on. That's that's twelve dollars cheaper than I paid. say something and I'll do that and I'll press that and what happened nothing happened oh yes it did did it I don't know did that go it's not letting me post oh crikey how yeah, big do you want Oh, too big. A, I get it. Oh, I get it. Here we go. Why can't I just post that? Oh, hang on. If I can. Copy image. There you go. Copy image. Oh, copy image address. I'm learning all the time here. There you go. That's the sort I got. And I've just noticed this. It's cheaper. By twelve dollars, I poor. Gonna go and sort that out. I was gonna go there in the first place, and I thought, no, go to JB because I buy a lot of stuff at JB. But it's all good. Um, Bottom, 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 bum. Night, Dean. Oh, that's what I've got to do too. Um, 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 Randy, Randy, on. I have. Uh, I've got the links for the downloads on the video, video, and they're on the other computer, unfortunately. But I will bring them tomorrow. So I'm sorry about that. You can have hot chocolate. I, I should bring it when I come to the coast, Ben. We could have a coffee. <laughs> uh, I'll just see if I can... I'll just see if I can bring these Vimeo ones up and I can give you the links and you can download them. Where's my keyboard? Here we go. We've got Vimeo there. Bottom boom. Most likely it won't let me log on because I don't know. Log in. Oh, there we go. We might be able to. Can I lo oh, look at that. Am I there? Oh, I'm here. Okay, hang on. I'll give you these videos. Um, as they come up. You've got video one. Okay. Ah, 
Don't give me that time. Okay, this is the first video here. You can download that. That was a bit of hair ago. Um, and... Mm -hmm. um. Oh, this one, you love the cover of this one. It's a young bobster. <laughs> that was actually a live shot, that second one I just put up. And... We were filming and I was making the leg and Bob thought he was bored so he might as well chew on something and he actually got one of the legs and was chewing on it and I think in the episode I said, oh, I don't know what Bob's chewing on, it sounds expensive. And sure enough, the mongrel was chewing on a... a leg. So one, six, here we go, this one here. There you go. And uh, thank you, Egypt. So there you go, the password for that, all of those, is smile, uppercase, like that. And you're more than welcome to download them and have them. Um, they will be taken off shortly as we go. And I've got about four or six seasons, so we might just do that. For people that enjoy the stream. Oh, you are there, Randy. Did you get the email with the links? There they are again, mate. I, I remember my dad, Roscoe, um, we nursed him right until the very end and I brought him in a coffee one day and I said, would you like a toddy in that, you know, just a shot of scotch? He said, oh, yeah, and it was black coffee and I put a double, double shot of scotch in he liked teachers and he drank that. This was 8 o'clock in the morning and he woofed it down about 15 minutes flat and he called me and he said, hey, I said, what? He said, oh, he said, that was good. He said, can I, can I have another coffee? He said, but not so much coffee in this one. <laughs> so he and I sat there and knocked off a bottle of teachers. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah. Oh, sounds good, sounds good, Earl. <laughs> yeah, he, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, a, he was one of life's rare gentlemen. I, I think I know a few of them, but they are few and far between. Okay, here we go. On the fourth and final one, and we'll, we'll have a look. See, I'm all sighted now. doing the carving, but I tell you what, we're getting a lot more done. 
this is starting to really take shape. I'll just put some of this stuff away. I really do have to tie this shed soon. Oh man, we were, we were pretty good on that shot, weren't we? There you go, that's a good shot. tails, I think. La, la, da, da, da. Just a whisker. There you go. Like I bought one. So now, what we can do is, I'm going to actually stain these while, while we're here because I just wanted to get that visual effect. So that's a sort of, let's get, get your ugly head out of the way. There you go. That's the sort of effect I'm looking for. Yeah. Happy with that. So we'll do these. I'm going to stain these brown. And we'll just see how she looks. It's got to go that way because I'm going to have the end grain, as I said yesterday, the end grain going that way because it's an elongated cabinet. Whereas if I had it going that way, it just doesn't, just doesn't look right. And in fact, even with that grain, you can play. But all right, where's, 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 oh, where's my stain going, Huey? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I blew the vase off the television. Here we go, a little bit of cloth. Give it a good shaker maker. The uh, stain I'm using is a Libron Spirit Stain. And I'm just looking for a bit of rubbish I can put down. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Bit of paper. Yeah, Ben, I've got to come into the coast. Got to go to Campbell's. I'm run, running out of baking powder, paper. <laughs> now I have had thoughts of putting an edge on these, but I don't. I don't know. I sort of. Think about it and I'll sort of talk myself out of it. But we'll see what I'll just arrow it very, very slightly. Get the rest of that gooey, sticky paper off. I think you just take the arrows off it, just it softens it enough. I was thinking of putting a, um, a mitre on it, just a square chamfer, but um, to my mind, 
it would detract from, here we go, from the aesthetics to be sympathetic with the environment for which it is hung. See, I can wax lyrical if I have to. I'll, I'll, I'll go toe to toe. I can use big words. I don't know what they mean, but I can use them. Here we go. As my mate Theo would say, I'm very much excited. I haven't spoken to Theo for weeks. Don't know what he's up to. Okay. Here we go. It's, it's great knocking those childproof locks off. <laughs> Much easier. Okay. Ooh, that's sticky. Oh, that's goop left from the first time we did it. Take that off. And I've decided the finish I'm going to do on this is a, um, an oil finish. It's quite a nice brown. This is very, very similar to Van Dyke crystals in tone. <laughs> oh, oh, she's pungent though. Might be like your mead, Prunella. Oh, gets you at the back of the throat. All right. So now, I can hear some of you put the lid on, Steve. I'm with ya. Whoops. Whoops. That one's a little bit tight. I should have marked them, shouldn't I? But I didn't. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. That is 
pretty good. Now, okay, I want to turn that so I've got the grain going that way. So we'll have that about there, which is pretty close to what I had planned. Um, so let me get some some of these chamfer boards that we did earlier on. There you go. I reckon that's going to look quite different. Bearing in mind these um, bars will be right up. They'll be up here. They won't be that far back. Yeah, oh, I think that's that's looking rather nice. Keeps on getting in there to focus, but we'll bring it down. There you go. It it can't work it out, but I can. So I'm I'm happy with that. I'll just go ahead and do the other. The other four, and then what I've got to do is work out exactly where they're going to go on the back here, and then cut these off wherever they're meant to be cut off, and then rebate in to the style. Let me see if I've got enough. Let's see how much we got there. Yeah, we'll rebate that into the um, glazing recess, which will give me oh, about half a millimetre here in front of the bars. So that will look pretty good. I could make them flush, but no, I'll have them, have them back. A bit but we'll bring it bring it forward here and we'll just do that tomorrow and just uh, more this it in should look pretty schmick I think oh, where are we mm. all right what are we up to <laughs> see you Jeff hang in there be strong Oh, that's it. Roscoe, I'm coming over to your place. I'm drinking your booze and eating your bread and I'll bring some timber with me. Is it a deal? I think so, Louise. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. <whistles> Eagle Ness, how are ya? Yeah, I might not. I'm just about to wind up. I've got to take Bob to another vet thing, but that's all right. Welcome aboard. You can go back and watch it if you want.
Now I say or nearly did or nearly, but it didn't happen. Yeah, that could be true too. Prunella, he's most likely playing with his grandkids. Ba -da -ba. <laughs> I, I have trouble with little words spelling them. I tell you, Andy. Now that's what spell checks are for, Prunella. Red, come over to your place for lunch too. I bet you it's warmed up. You don't need curry now. You needed it for breakfast, Trevor. Thanks, Prunella. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. Thanks, Brenda. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We well, we could do it, but yeah, it just it's a different setup, Roscoe. So I'll leave it at ninety degrees. <laughs> right, Roscoe, you'll be sorry you said that. <laughs> I'll bring Bob, he'll eat more than all of us together. <laughs> oh, good on you, Ray, thanks. Oh, I, he couldn't be any worse. As I said, I was talking to one of the people in the chat room um, yesterday that rang me up, who's a vet, and they said that person had no right to be near animals. He was just, oh, just smacked him. Night Earl! <laughs> there, the, Devon, that's like, what was it? Groucho Marx. Fruit flies love, no, time flies like the wind and fruit flies like bananas. There you go. Anyway, that's it. I'm off. We're going to go and see the, the dog man. Um, but yeah, happy with that. And I hope you enjoyed getting the screen put in. Might do another one of those later on. Ah, uh, I might do a bit of carving tomorrow. See how we go. So in the meantime, this is Steve yanking the shed door down saying, remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself. Be kind to each other. Exercise restraint. Follow the rules. Stay healthy. Keep drinking fluids, Prunella. <laughs> and Roscoe. Um, uh, that's it. Appreciate everyone in the chat room. Thanks for the moderators. Thanks for everyone that's there. If you haven't been on before, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that subscribe button, hit the like button and the notifications, then you know what I'm on. But I'll be on the same time tomorrow, same place. So I'm looking forward to having your company in the workshop at the workbench where we'll do it all again, only differently. And don't ask me what I'm going to do because I could change my mind between the house and here. So till then, stay safe, look after yourself, God bless. Thank you. See you later. <laughs>